All right, welders, we are back to finish up our flux cord arc welding project here. We're going to be putting on our uh, root or cover pass. Then we'll be cutting our test strips out of it. And we will etch it and check our penetration and make sure we've got some good welds. All right, this is a combination tip for the flux core and for MIG. So I'm just making sure it's nice and clean. We don't want to gum anything up. All right, just like all the passes before, we're keeping a nice uh, five to 10 degree drag angle, pulling slowly down there, covering up a third of the last feed we laid. Knock off the slag, hit it with the wire brush, and we'll do it again. All we're doing is lining up them top beads to give us a little bit of reinforcement above the top surface of the plates. Put in the last stringer pass and cover up that final bevel edge there. I'm going to have my uh, gun tilted just a little bit into it, make sure we get good overlap. Let's bring it in a little bit closer. What I'm going to do is make a mark halfway. And we'll put our center mark on here. And from our center mark, we'll measure each way an inch and a half. That's only an inch. And then we'll draw our lines on here.
these pieces here are discarded. We'll make one root bin and one face bin. All right, we're getting ready to cut this out with the plasma cutter. I've got the 40 amp pipe tip on there from George's plasma cutter shop. I have the machine set for 40 amps. I have my standoff here so I can get as straight a line as possible. Let's give her a try. I am a complete noob with the plasma cutter, so almost damn near through. We'll give it a whack, it'll come apart. All right, here we have the um, uh, first buffing with the grinding wheel to smooth it out as much as we possibly can. Then we're going to move on to the flap disc, about 80 grit, trying to keep it uh, parallel to the surface, but you know, it's kind of hard to do. Anyway, this purpose is just to take out the scratches from the grinding wheel. And next we're moving on to a uh, 260 grit on a nice soft uh, sanding pad there mounted on my drill. Let's move it out as much as we can, then we're going to bump that up to a final sand with the 500 grit and try and smooth that out as best as we can so we can see what the etch looks like. All right, going to put on the etch it now. This is um, rust remover. This is the Permatex brand. Basically the same thing as the Naval Jelly. And then we'll take a look. All right, welders, there we go. I'm going to take some high-res pictures and we'll uh, pop them in here on the next segment. Alright, there we go. Some close-up pictures. You can see I've got a couple of little spots mostly near the surface there. Added up together. I don't think they would make the 1 8 inch uh, limit for a bend test. So we're probably pretty good there. Thanks for watching. Hope I see you next time.